I'm that, yeah. Been that, still that, uh. will forever be that, forever be that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, breaking good in the pieces. Had to egg some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza. Yeah. I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques. All the little clothes only fit fake. Hey guys, how everybody doing? As you guys can see, I'm looking cute today. Cause all them other days I just been, I don't, I don't know what's been wrong with me. I just haven't been in the mood to look cute. Cause we've been in the house since who knows when. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not rocking the wig today. I got my locks out, you know. I was like, no wigs today. Let me just wear my natural hair. Because my boyfriend, he always tell me, I don't like when you wear those wigs. I like when you wear your natural hair and I like your locks. Like, why can't you just wear your locks without the, the wigs and stuff? And I'm like, boy, if you don't. It's like cute on me for real. I did my little edges or whatever. So, yeah, it's cute. Let me tell you guys about the time my ex-friend peed in my bed. And just to put it out there, I'm not trying to comfort anybody either who pees in the bed. I'm just saying, like, I'm giving y'all my story time. So, I was in this little IT program called Year Up. I was graduating. This was, like, back in July of 2018. My ex-friend, she came, I'm not going to say her name, to come support me. I think this was... Yeah, this had to be after the graduation. We had um stayed over my house and we had ordered like Popeyes, McDonald's and stuff. I don't know why we ordered all that food. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why we did that. But we ordered some food, we was having a good time and whatnot. It was actually good to have her around. Like she was one of those friends who you know ain't good for you, but they cool as fuck to be around. I don't know why now I think about it. I don't know why I was still hanging around her knowing she wasn't no good. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> we had went to sleep around like 8 or 9. And she is one of those sleepers who like to move around too much. So she was one of those sleepers who just keep kicking the bed. And what I mean by kicking the bed, I mean like she could be laying on the bed and her feet just like the fuck. Like she just kept doing that. And I was like, is this something new? Because before when she used to come over my house, she never used to do all of that. So I was just like, okay, maybe this is a new habit that she picked up on and whatnot. She kept snoring. She was like, <laughs> I swear to God, that's what all she kept doing. And then she'll stop. And then it's just like, yo, what is going on with this girl? This had to be like, I want to say 10 in the morning. I was still sleeping in the bed because I'm like a, I sleep for a long time. I just, I don't know why I do it. I just sleep for a long time. Hold on, my boyfriend's calling. Hello? Huh? I'm recording a video. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, boo. I've really recorded a video while you calling me. <laughs> what what you want though? Okay. Alright, well, all right, well, let me, well, I guess I'll see you when you come back. What's wrong? What you want? Nothing. Okay. Alright. That was my boyfriend, y'all. Well, I don't know what had woke me up, honestly. I think I had just woke up because I heard her on the phone. I'm just looking around. I didn't even notice the bed, for real. I'm just looking around, and she's sitting on the floor, um, in the corner away from my bed and she just smiling and I'm like did something happen when I was sleeping? It's like I gotta tell you something and please promise me you won't be mad and I'm just like like what the fuck happened like tell me I'm not gonna be mad she's like she's like you have to you have to promise you're not gonna be mad like you you just have to promise and I'm like all right, like, just just tell me, like, you act like it's so serious. So she was like, I peed 
peed a little bit in your bed. And I'm just looking at her like, you peed in my bed. So I got up. I looked at the bed. This is me. I get up. I'm looking at the bed. I see a big ass pee spot in the bed. And I'm telling y'all, I'm not exaggerating. That spot was like that big. And I'm just like, and I'm looking at her. I don't know what made me even more mad. Was it that she peed in my bed? Or she knew she peed in my bed and she had me sleeping in a pissy ass bed. It didn't wake me up, but I had the nerve to wake herself up, get in the shower, get new clothes on, and sit in the corner while she watched me sleeping in a pissy ass bed. I don't know which one it was that I was mad about, but I was just like furious. I didn't even say it to her. It just in my head, I'm just like, yo, she just really peed in my bed. And then she had me still sleeping in the bed, and she had the nerve to not wake me up as soon as she did it. And I think that's really what made me even more mad. I think that's what it was. I don't even know how long it was till she peed in the bed and had me sleeping in there. Because when I got, once I found out that she peed in my bed, I took the sheets off. I put it in a washer. Then I had, I didn't even smell the bed. I didn't even have to. I swear, when you standing by the bed, I could smell all the piss. It smelled like no good piss either, y'all. Like, I know... Don't, don't come for me because there ain't no such thing as good piss. But you know what I mean? Like people who don't drink enough water or eat a lot of junk foods and your pH balance can be thrown off. Yeah, it was one of those type of things. I was just mad because it was a big ass spot. Don't know how long she had the pee sitting in the bed for real. So I had got a washcloth, run some hot water, and I had got some soap. And I was trying to scrub it out, scrub it out, scrub it out. No matter what I did, just wouldn't come out. And she would just still sit in the corner like, you want me to help you? And I'm just looking at her like, nah, you did enough. <laughs> you did enough. Just, you, you sit down. And my boyfriend called me. And he was like, what am I doing? I'm like, nothing. I'm just, I'm just cool, man. Because she didn't want me to tell anybody. Well, she didn't want me to, you know, tell anybody. Of course, that's my boyfriend. She didn't want me to tell him or anybody because she didn't want nobody knowing that she peed in the bed. So, my boyfriend was like, well, whatever you're doing, I'm ready to come over and I'm ready to come, like, chill with you. So, I'm like, alright, that's what's up. So, he was there in, like, ten minutes. He come knocking on the door. I opened the door for him. And as soon as he stepped in the house, he was like, who pissed in the bed? And she, and she just looking at me like, bitch, you told him? And I'm just looking like, yo, <laughs> like, this is crazy. My boyfriend, he is one of those people, you don't have to tell him anything. He's going to figure it out. He is one of those people who will literally figure anything out. You don't have to say nothing. Like, I don't understand how he do it, but he does it. So he just smelled the piss. And I, like I said, the piss was strong, so... I'm not even surprised that he smelled it, but he just came in and he was just like, fuck somebody pissed in the bed, and I was just looking like, yo, and she was just looking at me mad, so probably like five minutes later after I'm trying to figure out what to do for real because my bed is soaking with piss, she get on the phone with one of her friends, and she just, she just talking shit, y'all. She was just talking shit. And she just kept saying, like, don't you hate when you, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me react to the scene for y'all. She had her phone. She was talking to somebody. She was like, yeah, don't you hate when somebody, you tell somebody something and you don't want nobody else to know and you tell them to not tell anybody and they still do it anyway. And I'm standing there looking at her while she doing it. And she just like, yeah, like that's what just happened now. Like, I hate stuff like that. I hate people like that and stuff. And yeah, like that really gets me mad. Is, is this girl for real? She really talking shit about me in front of me? Is she at my house? in my house talking shit about me i'm like yo this girl is the ultimate disrespect and when i tell you guys this ain't the first like situation i had with this girl 
it's been a lot of things that happened before she was like one of those friends who she wants to always be in competition with you if you know it don't matter what it is she just always want to be in competition she even accused me once of 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 trying to talk to her ex-boyfriend first of all i don't even rock like that y'all i'm not gonna sit here and mess with nobody's nigga Especially if you're supposed to be one of my friends, my closest friends. So the fact that she was sitting there trying to really bring down my character, it was just like, yo, she is crazy. Y'all, you don't understand what I went through with that girl. And not even only that, this other girl that we was both friends with, um, she even accused her of trying to talk to the same boy. I'm like, if you got to sit there and accuse all your friends of trying to talk to your nigga, then maybe that's not your nigga. Not even maybe, that's just not your nigga. If you got to feel that way with anybody that you bring around your friends, then it's the nigga that's the problem or it's you that's the problem. Because if those your girls like that and they really rock with you like that, like they, they all ten toes down for you, you should never sit here and try to think, Oh yeah, she tried to talk to somebody or she trying to she trying to be sneaky and all that. No. So that's when I when I seen right there she wasn't a true friend. He was talking shit in my face and my boyfriend was just standing right there and he was he was talking to her. He was like he was like, No, you gotta admit that was wrong, like you shouldn't have been doing that and stuff like that. And I'm just sitting there mad, I'm going off on her. I'm like, You really gonna sit here and talk shit in my face? For real? For real? And she was just like, yeah, because I told you not to tell nobody and you you went and told him. I'm like, yo, I did not tell him. And he even said it himself. I, he was like, she did not tell me anything. Like, I literally just guessed because I could smell the pee. And he, I think by him saying who the fuck peed in bed, she automatically thought, okay, she told on me. But if if we being real, it's three, of, it's three other girls in the room. Cause, so it could have been really any of us any of us so you getting mad like that just showed you was the one who did it and that you're guilty of it me and her just kept going back and forth back and forth back and forth she was telling me i'm not a real friend and i'm fake like that's always her go-to i'm fake i'm this and i'm that i'm just like i'm fake how did this even come about just because you peed in the bed my sister she had ran upstairs to my mom and she was telling my mom mommy they about to fight they about to fight and my mom was like i'm gonna just let them handle it because and my mom one of them people she just she know me and this girl always get into it that's why she was just like yeah i'm gonna just let them figure it out on their own and she even called her mom well she texted her mom and was telling her like come pick her up and stuff like that and her mom was like no Cause you always starting stuff and you need to fix it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with, with your shenanigans today. So everybody knows that's why nobody got into it. But my boyfriend, my sister, they just like, all right, I need to chill. She just kept, you know, talking shit. So I was like, you know what? At this point, you need to get out of my house. Straight up. You need to go. I had her boyfriend who lived like 10 minutes away from me and he has a car so he could have come pick her up. And she was just like, his car fucked up so he can't come get me. And it was raining all y'all. I did not care. Because I understand she was one of my friends. But at the same time, you're not ready to sit here and disrespect me in my house. You're just, that's not what's about to go down. That's not what you're ready to do. You're about to dip. Like, you need to go. My boyfriend trying to calm me down. He's like, look, y'all are friends. And y'all letting something little like this get in between y'all and stuff like that. Y'all just need to talk and apologize to each other because you both are wrong i'm like we both was wrong i wasn't wrong for shit after me and my boyfriend talked about it after the situation he was he was like i know you wasn't wrong i didn't want her to feel like i was just agreeing with you because i'm your boyfriend and stuff like that and i'm like okay well i, I guess i see where you're coming from after that we just both apologized to each other and she was trying to hug me i re one thing about me, I'm very stubborn. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm not I'm not really scared to admit that I'm very stubborn. So if I feel a certain type of way, nothing can change my mind. It just can't. At the moment, I was just thinking like, 
man, this girl done accused me of so many things. She done, um, sat here and talked about me in front of my face. And had the nerve to just keep doing it over and over again. They're like, that's not the first situation. So it's like. I need to, there's a time where I need to reevaluate the people I have in my life. She gotta go for good because she's not good for me or my life. And if I'm trying to elevate, I can't have people in my life who's bringing me down. So after that, I did hug her and I had to take her home. So I took her home and after that, I ain't never speak to that girl again. I blocked her. And of course, after that, she still tried to get into contact with me. Show call from a block number. Removed her from my life from good. Because it was just, guys, when I tell y'all, and please don't make this mistake. If somebody keeps showing you who they is, you need to believe it. And you need to find out for yourself if you want to keep dealing with that or you need to remove that person for good so you won't have those problems anymore. And that's that's just where my head was at at the time. I just felt like, okay... She showed me her true colors too many times, so I just need to really think of what I want to do with her, because she is a cool-ass person, but something is wrong with her if she keep coming to accusations like that. Now, I don't have any more of those problems or anything like that, and I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy. That is the end of this story. Please comment down below. If you guys want to hear any more stories or just give me some ideas of what videos you would like me to do. So thank you guys for staying tuned for this video. And please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now please, please, please go check out my last upload which was the Bean Boozle Challenge. And I promise you guys, you will not regret it. <laughs> you just will not regret it. Bye.